How's it going out there? Thank you for tuning in and watching the channel. More than likely, if you saw the thumbnail on this one, you have a small pelican boat or some sort of smaller boat and you're looking to put a trailer under it simply because it's pretty hard to <clears throat> throw it in and out of your vehicle, especially if you start modding it, putting all kinds of stuff on it. You want to go ahead and build a trailer and uh, be able to easily put this in and out of the water or just hook it up and go instead of having to store it in your garage. So <clears throat> what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you this new trailer. It's a little platform, it's an old trailer, but what you could do is you can go to Harbor Freight and uh, you can buy their fold-up trailers, and that's what I'm using. This one's ancient, but you could buy a brand new one. Um, can't remember how much they are now, they're pretty cheap. So that's the platform I'm gonna be using. Let's go ahead and check out and see what I got. And I'll go ahead and tell you what I'm gonna do to it in order to make this boat go on top of it. And we're gonna start going through the whole process so I can show you guys how I did it. Sorry about the wind, folks. Um, it seems every time I film, I got wind. So this is my old platform right here. <clears throat> what I did is I had that, that wood on top of it. I went ahead and ripped that all off. It was old wood. Trey, they're still in pretty good shape. Um, as you see, a little bit of surface rust there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sand this all down anyway. I'm going to slap a new paint job on it. I got some brand new tires and rims in the car up front that I'm going to go ahead and toss on it. But I'm going to go ahead and make sure I paint it all up and make sure everything's done before I put the new wheels on because I don't want overspray to get on that and make it all ugly. I got these old busted up tail lights on here. I'm going to go ahead and rip those off. I'm going to run up to Harbor Freight. They have the kits that you can buy. Basically, you just bolt them on and then just run your wires to the front. So I'm going to tuck and clean up all the wiring on this so it's not ugly and visible. I do have a small bend up here that I'm going to push out so that this tongue goes straight again. It's not too bad, but that's going to bother me. Other than that, <clears throat> basically what my plan is, is I'm going to buy... The, the boat has pretty much basically two pontoons. It has an up part right here pontoon here pontoon here pontoons are about eight inches wide so what i'm going to do is see if i can find me a two by probably an eight <clears throat> take it cut it to about the boat's about eight foot four under it this trailer is eight foot so i might do a little overhang and what i'll do is cut that go ahead and wrap it with some carpet so that i have two running up in here then basically after that, I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to actually put a board up here that goes to the side of the boat that holds it into place, or if I'm going to run one straight down the center since it has that hull that goes up, <clears throat> I might be able to run one down the center and uh, basically hold it in place there. I haven't figured that part out, but we'll figure it out together either way. So let's go ahead and get started on this project. All right, guys, so I'm still at it. What I did was I ran up to Harbor Freight. I picked up these lights. Fortunately, I should have looked to see if they were waterproof, but I didn't. We're gonna make them work. Got a tornado coming through here. So I 
got the trailer stacked straight up and down because I ended up painting it this army green. It's almost going to match that boat. Sorry if I just put this on your face. I'm doing the underside of it right now. Also, I got my slave, aka Pooh Bear, aka my wife. She's out here waterproofing the boards with this Thompson water seal stuff. We're gonna do probably three or four coats on this and then we'll drill holes through it. We got these, uh, this carpet right here we picked up yesterday from Home Depot. And we'll use that to go ahead and wrap these boards up. So I'm gonna get to work spraying the bottom half of that. What I'm doing is I'm using this self-etching primer. Basically so that if it gets scratched up or anything, I can just take this and hit it again with it. So we're gonna leave it like that because it matches the boat. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. Um, there's no use in me taping it because you guys are just gonna watch me spray it. So I'll get back to you as soon as I'm done with that. Okay, we do have two coats of waterproofer on this. We'll go ahead and flip it over and do two coats on the other side before we set it on the trailer and drill out each hole so I can fill those up with this. And make sure it's waterproof. Trailer's all painted up, all nice and green. I got some brand new tires. I'm gonna go ahead and slap on it. Just wait for it to dry a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and roll it up over there so we're out of the wind because it's windy as always and we'll go ahead and see what we can do about putting these boards on okay guys got the wheels on it now they kind of stick out like a sore thumb but that's okay we thought about painting them black or plastic dipping them but the more you paint on these the more you got to worry about it chipping off and <clears throat> they got a good powder coat on them from the factory so i'm just going to leave them alone leave them white who cares that's what we're looking at the Pooh Bear is still over here, and she's working away. Say hi. Don't say hi. Okay guys, next up what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the lights out, drill the holes, see if everything fits up right. I'll go ahead and put the lights up, and then go ahead and start doing the wiring on those. Lights are all installed. I don't know if they work yet because I haven't hooked them up to the vehicle, but everything is all wired up. It should be good to go. Now what we got is I bought some, uh, they're 10 by twos by eight. Um, basically they're 11 really, but so you got 11 in width. And what I'm gonna do is put a couple holes through so that I can anchor it down here. One here, one here, one there, one there, two there. Do that on both sides and then I'll countersink them a little bit so that we can put our carriage bolts in and nothing will rub against it. Then we'll go ahead and put the drill all the way through it, drill our holes, and then go ahead and put our carpet on top of that so that the, the bolts are already sticking out so they don't have to worry about punching it through the carpet. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do now. And then we'll go ahead and mount it up and then we'll figure out what we're going to do for the side systems to hold the boat on. All right guys, so now I countersink the holes, then drilled all the way through. When I did that, when they were on top of the trailer, I punched the bit, the wood bit, enough through that it left a little score <clears throat> on each one of these. So then I went back through and drilled the holes with the 3 8 inch bit. And uh, now what the Pooh Bear is doing is filling in the holes. So we got the waterproofer inside that as well. Then what we'll do is take the carriage bolt I'm gonna take each one, every one of these, slide them down into the hole so that they're ready, and then we'll go ahead and carpet them. Okay, guys, so as you see, we got all the carriage bolts sunk, and they're sticking out the bottom there. So you're gonna wanna leave them like that, so basically when we put our carpet on here, then you won't have these sticking up out of the carpet. They'll be under the carpet, so. We're gonna go ahead and run it like that. We're gonna go ahead and get the carpet and get it all cut up and go ahead and put it on the trailer. Okay, now we're inside the house. We're gonna go ahead and cut the carpet for these boards. So I got the carpet laid down on the kitchen floor here. And what I did was I gave myself a little gap over there so it pretty much will fold over and have enough staple. So on this side, I got this pad of paper here. It's about the same size gap as that over there. So I'm just taking it and Putting my marker against it and rolling it down so it'll kind of leave me a pattern 
where I'm going. Okay, now that I got the uh, two rectangles marked out for the both sides, let's go ahead and cut them with scissors. I'm gonna cut this one, this one, so I'll have a piece of each. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and fold the carpet over. I got staple gun, just a normal staple gun from Home Depot. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull it as snug as I can. And run my staples down it. Okay, so when you get to these corners, you end up with something like this. What I usually do is I'll take it, pinch it on this side here. Pinch it on the side here, and you can pull it out so you have it tight there and there. Then I'll usually take my scissors. Cut straight down. So then you can take this, drive it in there, you take this up, find out where your screw is, press this over like that, and then you can pull this one tight like this. Go to your other side, pinch it tight. I love too much right there. <clears throat> Maybe an easier way to do this, I don't know. This is why I'm doing it. I'll just go ahead and drive a couple of staples on the sides. Make sure that somewhat stays in place. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and repeat all these steps on this other side. Okay, now I'm just taking my nuts and washers. I got my bolts run through each one of these. Like you saw earlier how we drilled them out. And I'm going to go ahead and install them so that these are both bolted down. We'll go ahead and take the boat and load it up on top of it so that I can go ahead and find out where my side pieces are going to be. And we'll start getting those mounted up. Okay, we got those mounted up. Now what we're going to do is pull the trailer over this way. Um, the boat's on the other side of this door, so we'll open it up, put the, board, the boat up on top of it and see where we're going to put our side wood pieces to hold the boat onto the trailer okay guys excuse the wind what i'm going to do is uh cutting these pieces here to about 16 and a half in length so i'll have one here and i'm going to have one that comes up to here that's 16 and a half and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a board another two by four and i'm going to cut it this way so that i'm running about I think I have a 10 foot section, so I think I'll do uh, five foot on each side, which I think this was four foot 10, if I remember right, from there to there. So I'll have a little bit of overhang. We'll see what it looks like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and carpet that. I'm gonna waterproof these, and I'm gonna get some carriage bolts. 
I'll punch through here into it and I'm gonna punch through here so that this locks it in place. Make sure that's good and waterproofed and we'll at least have our seat side pieces and all we gotta do is figure out what we wanna do on the front of this thing to go ahead and hold this in place so it's not going anywhere. But so far, that is looking pretty good. Uh, we matched our all right. It's not perfectly matched, but for what we got, it's it looks good. I like it. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I ran to Harbor Freight last night, and I went ahead and got me one of these jacks to put on the top so we can get rid of that stupid center block. So I got the hardware. I got the jack. I'm going to go ahead and bolt it on the side here. And we'll move on to putting on these sideboards that we got done last night. Um, we're still going to have to carpet them, but we got them all stained and waterproofed. All right, I got the trailer jack on. So now it's supporting the trailer. So now what we're going to do is finish up our sideboards and figure out something to put up front. And I got some little clips right here that I'm going to put in the back, probably about right in here, so I can run a strap up right in here and have it hold on. Okay, guys, so what I did was we... Me and the wife, we went ahead and uh, carpeted these side posts. We went ahead and drilled the bolts all the way through it so that there's nothing on this side. And I got my hole pre-drilled here and here. And now what we're going to do is just mount them down the side. And uh, we'll be done with that section. Okay, guys. I'm going to throw a bolt down there, bolt there. Got the whole side strip on it's nice and flush against this rib that's how we're gonna hold it on now what I'm do is uh, take my d-rings these ones here and I'm gonna mount them up top here so that I can take a strap pretty much from here to here and it'll hold it down and in place Okay, it's all done. My advice to you is when you're doing carpet, make sure you pull this all over and measure it so you don't have a gap there. Before I didn't worry about it because it was under the trailer, but now that I can see it, it's an eyesore. So I might take a strip of wood and run it down there or get another piece of carpet and put it over that and staple it, I don't know. Um, other than that, jack stands in place. I might put a spare tire there. I need to do something about the front. I'll do that later on. I got these little Hook's mounted up now. It'll hook from here to here. It should hold the boat down. Which I think if I just run those by themselves, it should hold the boat from going backwards or forwards. Other than that, it's got brand new tires, new paint job. New lights. Everything's all set, so... Be looking forward to another video on this boat. I'm going to go ahead and start decking it out now. I'm going to put a depth finder on it and uh all the other goodies that come with it so i'll be doing more on that and we're gonna go out and start fishing on it soon so we will see you on the next one make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber and throw a like throw in some comments we'll see you on the next one